Hey everyone, Irit here, and I'm really excited to be part of the Alta New 5th Anniversary Blog Hop. This is the layout I will be creating today. There are tons of giveaways, so make sure you go to my blog. There will be a link in the information box below, so you can win some of those <laughs> goodies. Um, yeah, check that out for all the info. So, for the anniversary, I really wanted to go with kind of my all-time favorites and um, that includes the watercolors even though they are relatively new to my collection you can see uh, a swatching and a review on my channel I love them and they're so much fun so what I did I basically used my die cutting machine and some circle dies and I cut these um, Swiss cheese like strips of paper and just added watercolors I picked my favorite colors so one is going to be mainly pinks one is going to be mainly yellow and the other one is going to be mainly teals and turquoises and I'm going to end up layering those on my layout you will see that later but the point here is to layer these so put a layer of watercolors, let it dry, and then come back with more. And that gives them just a lot more depth and interest than if you just go with one layer. And yeah, I'm trying to kind of paint everything, all the pieces that I die cut, and it was a lot of fun. You can do a bunch of these. Uh, of course, you can just color the piece of paper and then die cut it but I really wanted I knew I wanted to add uh, a bit a bit stronger and deeper colors around the edges of the circles so for that reason I needed to watercolor at least the last layers um, I need to I needed to do that when the circles were already cut so that I would know where to add uh, the most intense color and because this is thick paper, I also made sure that I colored in all the edges of the paper so the white wouldn't show. That's what I'm doing now, uh, slightly off camera. Sorry about that. <laughs> but it just gives the whole thing a more finished look. And um, it just adds that uh, extra dimension. So I think even though this might be a bit uh, annoying step, I think it's necessary. <laughs> this is my background. This is also watercolor paper and I'm just adding some watercolors to echo all the uh, watercolors in those uh, Swiss cheese <laughs> types of um, papers that I created and again going for my favorite colors this is such a fun easy way to create a background I think watercolors are just the most beautiful of mediums the way they flow that transparency I adore it them probably know that so I had to go with that I've been also playing a lot with the Alta new brush markers they are also fantastic and if you have those you could just um, put a little bit of the ink on a palette and then use a brush and use them like watercolors and you can do the same with stamping inks if you have stamping inks um, of course not not all inks behave like watercolors but you can definitely get a similar effect. So just adding a little bit of around the edges, I thought uh, I like how the middle is looking, but I thought it needed just a little bit more. And I know that I like to add uh, little bits and pieces around the edges. So um, I figured I would already add the watercolors because many times I start with just the center and then I realize I want to add things on the edges and then I have to go back and add all the watercolors. So skipping a couple of steps ahead, but nothing too crazy happened. I let everything completely dry. I ran it through my sewing machine and used black thread to go around the edges two times. And also with my Swiss cheese pieces, I ran those through my sewing machine uh, and mostly used white 
thread but then I also added just a few stitches with black thread just to repeat that element uh, going around the page and I'm just trying now to figure out where to add each element and this is I'm using here my favorite stamp sets from Alta New. These are Botanical Garden and Wild Hibiscus sets. I've had these for a long time and I got so much use out of them. I love the style of the flowers here and the variety that you get and I also love that you get uh, some butterflies and that cute bird. It's just these are just two of my favorite sets and I knew I had to use them for this project. So I actually stamped them on a thin paper. I'm not going to color them. I really like that black and white look. So you can use whichever paper you want for that. And uh, I used really thin paper to make the fussy cutting part easy for me. I don't think I have actually the matching dies for these, but the images are very uh, easy to fussy cut. And I'm s saying that as someone who really doesn't like to fussy cut and I don't consider myself to be very good at it. So you absolutely don't need the... Um, the matching dies. Of course, they make life easier, but um, yeah, you can definitely hand cut these. And I just love this part of trying out different flowers, tucking them behind those little uh, holes. And the point is to get a very kind of layered, graphic, interesting look where things are peeking through those round windows and um, you know you're just looking around and trying to get all the details and uh, yeah my title is fantastic you these are older foam thickers I think those are Amy Tangerine I've had them in my stash and I thought they looked good with their very light color and the photo is an older photo of my husband and Lily, my youngest, when she was a few months old, I want to say. And yeah, you know, time flies and all that. Um, it's a lot of fun to scrapbook fo photos that are a little bit older. Um, she's only three now, so these are not so old. But... Um, you know, they change so much at this age, like every month there's so many new things. And um, it was really fun to remember those baby days and also be happy with um, all the things that are easier now. Uh, of course, there are new challenges <laughs> with the toddlers, <laughs> but um, there's still someone to talk to. And sometimes <laughs> she actually listens. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's my photo. And because this is watercolor paper, it's quite thick. So I'm adding some hot glue just to make sure that it's um, glued down properly to my background. I don't want it to lift too much. But I also got that wing of the butterfly uh, under my paper. So I'm just trying to fix that. And that's it. It was everything came together really fast because all the different elements were were um kind of the focal point and it was just about bringing them all together i hope you enjoyed i hope you feel inspired go to the blog and check out all the giveaways have a wonderful day bye